In the Philippines, President Duterte described the exclusion of the Hacienda Luisita from the Agrarian Reform Program as the greatest aberration done to farmer beneficiaries. The President said although he has nothing against the Aquino family, including the late President Corazon Aquino and her son, President Benigno Aquino III, he said farmer beneficiaries should have been awarded with portions of the land in Tarlac. Take a look. Always. Uh, I'd like to state very clearly that I have nothing against the Aquino family. Yung dalawang presidente, pati ang pamilya. Uh, I'd like to put it in record that for the first two Aquino presidents, sumuporta po kami ang pamilya namin sa Dapao. Because we believed in Corazon Aquino, and I happen also to just uh, uh, the best that was available uh, during at that time. Pero the greatest aberration, if I look back in time, alam mo kung ako siguro ang naging malapit lang naman makapagbulong or to make the suggestion na will not irritate yung sinasabihan ko. Alam mo yung the greatest uh, aberration sa land reform was the Philippines was declared the whole of the country as a land reform program area Pero tinanggal nila ang Doña Luisita. Far and in between the years that it was fighting, I mean the tenants, marami ho ang namatay. A lot of people died, invested blood, just to realize until late today, yung mga lupa na dapat sa kanila. Marami kasi akong, well, I have a lot of friends uh, all over the Philippines. But uh, when I became president, I told them, especially when I was campaigning in the Negros area, na there is always a time for everything. A time to be rich and a time to be just a float sum in the economic life of the country. But there is a time when you have to live simply. Changes. Meanwhile, the president encouraged the Department of Agrarian Reform to study the land reform program very carefully before it is implemented. Here's why. Uh, around the time when my father was governor of Davao, only one Davao, Meron pa mga lupa doon na sila Wallstrom, uh, nabila na yun, ni Danding na yun yun, kuhang ko. Uh, 1,774 owned by one family. Yun ang the greatest uh, anomaly ng bayan natin. Yun na began because they were closed, to the powers at the time, and those who, were, who had the, you know, the stamina to go around and skirt uh, whatever there was a hindrance in the law and got favorable concession. Sabi ko sa kanila, there's a time to hold it and a time to let go. Sabi ko, for so many hundreds of years, the mga asinderos enjoyed the fat of the land. Meron kayo mga Mercedes-Benz, the mansions in Manila, those were tied to the lands that were dedicated to the planting of uh, sugar. And at that time, sugar was a very uh, almost an expensive franchise. You get it from government and those who were favored with 
given the sugar quota. Yun ang pinag-agawa doon. Gaya ng mga mining ngayon, kung ano na pang pinag-agawa na itong mga gustong yumaman. Marami pa dyan. But when you go into a place where you want to implement land reform, do not just take it as it is. Pag-aralan ninyo muna, study, study very carefully the psychological, the economical, the social background sa mga taong ito. Because if I were the communist, kung ako yung komunista, madali akong mag-recruit doon sa probinsya. Pumbida daw. Eh walang lupa doon. Lupa tribal or but not involving huge uh, areas of land. Madali makuha mo yun sa komunista. Madali bulahin ang mga tao na walang alam. Ito naman mga rabble rouser na komunista, walang ginawa kung hindi magbula ng tao. And he reaffirmed the administration's commitment to correct the historical distortion brought about by the misallocation of lands that resulted in social injustice and sluggish rural economy. Well, he acknowledged the gains of the Department of Agrarian Reform in the implementation of CARP in the past three decades. Let me nonetheless stress the need to finally accomplish the ultimate goal of this program through this administration's unique brand of agrarian reform. That unique one, ibigay mo na lahat, anak ng, sabi ko kay Secretary Castellones, ah, ah, ibigay mo lang, wala namang silbi yan. You wait for government to develop the lands. Hindi nga din matayo-tayo itong mga cannot even handle the urban areas. Pupunta ka pa dyan, with ambition. Bigay mo na. Lahat ibigay mo na. And those who won, <laughs> para tabla na lahat. Wala mang mawawala sa atin. Tayong walang lupa, walang mawawala. Well, yan pang ano yan, pang, pang asar lang. But, uh, wala man tayong nawala sa atin. Kung magamit lang sana nila, ma'am, yung mga CLOA certificates nila as uh, collateral for mortgage. That's the only way na magamit. Hindi lang magamit eh. So Land Bank has to accept it by way of mortgage para makapaghiram ng pera. Ngayon, kung hindi makabayad, maglipat na lang kayo ng probinsya para hindi na kayo makita ng mga tagadar. na nakawin mo rin yan. Kunin na ninyo. Today is indeed an auspicious occasion to realize the emancipation of our farmers by giving them actual ownership over the lands which they have been tilling for decades. I am therefore happy to lead the distribution of the certificates of the Land Ownership Awards or CLOAS to the agrarian reform beneficiaries here today. It is the ultimate aspiration of every farmer to own the lands they till. Now with these titles in their hands, I am confident that every beneficiary will be inspired to improve and increase their production through sustainable farming methods. Let me take this occasion to reaffirm the administration's commitment to correct the historical distortion brought about by the misallocation of lands which had caused social injustice and the underperformance of the rural economy.